Hello, scientists! Welcome to Draw Bell Math, the tutorial channel that helps you to create graphical abstract for your research. This is the time to start our PowerPoint tutorial, which is drawing DNA in PowerPoint. Let's get into Draw Bell Math. To draw double helix DNA in PowerPoint, we first need to create grids. Um, so let's grab our rectangle tool. Uh, it's in the shapes and rectangle, and um, we will use it to create grids um, so we need a hollow one and then I'll copy it by holding uh, option on mac alt on windows just to um, manually make a grid by ourselves Uh, one more row. Okay. So I will group all these grids. That was a shortcut, Control Alt G. Uh, that is group for PowerPoint. I'll make the grid smaller. Oh, actually, a little bit bigger here. And uh, then let's create a parallelogram. And then we need to fit it into the grid. We need to fit this parallelogram from the upper right corner to the lower left corner. And so let's do that. And to um, adjust the width, of the parallelogram, you drag on this yellow box. Okay. And so the yellow box needs to be right on top of the intersection uh, here. Um, that is one grid away from the right. And this will be the uh, base of our DNA helix. So uh, now we need to round the corner as uh, we see in previous tutorials. We need to call out the anchor points. And to do that, we will right click on a shape. And then you'll see uh, on the panel, here's a function called edit points. So let's click on it. You'll see the anchor points uh, are showing up as these black boxes. When you select the anchor points, then you'll see these white boxes uh, indicating the handles of your path. And now we can adjust them to start curving the uh, corners. So these handles needs to be one grid away from the anchor point. And the key is um, the anchor points on the bottom, the, their right handle needs to be to the right and one grid away from the anchor point. Just like that. And uh, for the one on the top, the left handle needs to be one grid away from the anchor point. Once you have done that to all four corners, you will have your uh, helix unit. And then we can adjust the color to uh, something that uh, looks more like the DNA we see in graphical abstracts. And uh, usually in these graphical abstracts, they don't have outlines for the, their DNA, so I will uh, use no outline. And then uh, let's copy the, the unit. And we need to flip it horizontally. Uh, so let's go to shape format over here and in arrange, rotate. There is a flip horizontal function. So this is the uh, front view of your um, double helix and we will change it to a lighter color 
so it will look uh, it is uh, floating in the front okay so that's one uh, helix and I will group them and then make a duplicate of it and send it to the back so group them scale them down yeah I think the space between the two helix needs to be a little bit wider let's make it slightly wider good and we can start elongating it uh, I will do it from the right to the left because so then our front part of the helix will automatically be uh, on top of the uh, darker units so I don't need to adjust it uh, by hand later on so yeah and you can make the DNA as long as you want and that is how you make a DNA in PowerPoint isn't it very simple and quick and I hope this tutorial helps you with your graphical abstract and if you like it uh, please give it a thumbs up and also subscribe to Drawout Mat for more graphical abstract tutorials. I look forward to seeing you in the next one.